Hello everybody, my name is Jaro Chris, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Anniversary Edition, and if you're wondering why I am in my home in Markarth, that is because I was just dropping off stuff, clearing inventory, I'm down to 225 pounds of carry weight, which is pretty nice. And now we're going to run over to the blacksmithy really, really quick because I want to... I was just walking by you. Nah, man. Okay. Um, it's a nail. So first, we should build an adventurer's backpack because I have a hunter's backpack and it's pointless. We should have something else that's kind of useful. So let's look through and see what we can use, which would be the best for us. So that's the hunters, you know, it just does more damage with a bow. Mage backpack, no. Thief backpack, no. So probably just use the adventurer's backpack, yeah. So what is it? What does it need? Corundum. Five leather, okay. And can I make... Um... Those, like... A cloak here? Okay, anyways, let's get the five leather and the corundum first. Yourself or deal some also, before I get too far into the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you like me, the channel, the series, anything like that. Okay. And sorry about not uploading a video yesterday, which is Tuesday for you guys. Yeah, Tuesday. Um, I tried to record, and for some reason I had an issue where repetitively me trying to enter somewhere just crashed the game over and over again and I got to the point where I just kind of ran out of time so she can have that now and then when I tried to like move on and save time right it's just like oh okay I can make a veil saber cat hide cloak okay and then yeah when I tried to move on it was just like oh crashed again so at that point I just got really frustrated I was like no screw this I'm done so I need a gold and I don't have gold so that's something we're gonna have to get as we go on yeah that war ended a while ago all right now we're gonna head back over to Fort Dongard to see if Serana has returned um, while I was off camera I waited like a week I think it was so, she should be back. She did say she would meet us at home, and I'm pretty sure this is what she meant by that. Hello? Serana? Are you back? Where art thou? There's Dexian. It's early morning, so everybody might be in here. Oh no, she's not- oh yeah, she is, right there. Okay. Hey, Serana. There you are. I'm... I'm back. You're... Oh, I was wondering when I would see you again. Here I am. Human as ever. It's like the world is alive again. Just like me. Okay. You um, you want to come with me? Let's make some more stories. Okay, that's great. We're gonna go... Yes? ...somewhere. Okay, let's go. It's kind of a shame that now that the Dawn Guard's over, she just almost reverts back to a normal follower, but she is one of the more powerful followers in the game. And at this point, it would be cool to have a follower follow us around, and she is the best one at that, because I do believe she does sometimes say some interesting things. But if you didn't know, we're going to start Dragonborn DLC, because there's not much left. I mean, there's tons of stuff. Eh, there's tons of stuff left for us here, but... Nothing that my character would really be interested in other than just walking around and picking up random quests. And the first thing that we're going to do when we end up in, um, I don't know why I fast traveled here. I should fast travel there and go out the docks. The first thing we do when we get the Soul's Time is gear up in a different way than what you expect. Because we need to be themed properly, right? Yeah, right. Okay, down here. I think this is the first time I've been, like, in this area of winter. Wait, we're in... This is not... Oh my god, how can I not... What is wrong with me? This is... Holy crap. I'm so ashamed of myself. I know this. I know this. I know this. You guys are gonna think I'm so stupid. 
Windhelm. Oh my god, how could I not remember Windhelm? Eh, anyways, whatever. My brain just doesn't work sometimes. Sarana, are you ready to go somewhere where I bet you haven't been before? Hello. Talk to Captain Garland if you're looking for passage. If you're looking for passage to Solstein, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. Yeah, are you the captain of the Northern Maiden? Sure. Yeah, that's me. Why? Who sent you? Me? I was attacked by some cultists who came here on your ship. Now, hold on. That wasn't my fault. I didn't know they were going to attack anybody. I don't even know how I got here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How can you not know how you got here? You sailed here, right? It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. Then, the next thing I remember, I was here, and they were gone. And that's not right, losing whole days like that. There's been something strange going on there for a while. But after this, I'm done. I'm not going back to Solstheim. Yes, you are. You're taking me to Solstheim. Have you been listening to me? I'm not going back there. Those people are trying to kill me, and I'm not taking no for an answer. Hold on now. I'm just a simple sailor. I never wanted to get mixed up in any of this. Alright, I'll take you. But we leave immediately. Deal. Well, here we are. This is Raven Rock. Can't say I'm all that glad to see it again. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here. Well, if there's anybody that would be able to do it, it would probably be me. Whoa, whoa, it looks like- Oh, hold on, man, you're about to- Oh, no, God, no. Oh, he, he made it, okay. The angle he was taking there looked like we were gonna hit the dock. I don't recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. I'm looking for Mirak. Do you know him? Mirak, I... I'm not sure that I do. Just remember, Ravenrock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? Nah, none yet. I was starting to wonder what happened to anywhere just out of this. Oh yeah, Serana. We were Okay, I'm gonna wait until morning just so it's nice and pretty outside. And then we will go on our adventure to find some new gear. I have a great idea of exactly what I want to get. And some of you might also know it's been a previous video not a previous video on the channel, it was um no, it was in a previous video on a channel, it just wasn't a dedicated video to it. It was the special Stallrim armor. Oh, it's not this. Where is it? I think there's something about it in here, right? If not, I'm pretty sure I know exactly where it is anyways. Hello. Hmm. I'm looking for a certain note. I work for Mogro. Yeah, cool problem, slitter. You, you have such an edgy name. You're so cool. Okay, it's definitely not in one of these random locked rooms. I can tell you that much. Where is it though? I feel like it was just posted up on something. Or it's just something you go find. I really have no idea, if I'm being honest. But like I said, I'm pretty sure I know exactly where it is. But this is a whole nother Creation Club thing. Take the fork, take the mysterious note. And this is a guy that you can get for a follower while you're here. Okay, whatever. I know basically where I'm going, so... Hopefully it just lets me walk up. So, that's what we will do, and I believe it is 
way up here. Somewhere like here, I believe. Come on, let me um, set a destination. There we go. It's pretty far away, but it's kind of important, in my opinion. Just to, you know, fit in. Really? Oh, we have Arvac, so I can use him here. So it will go a little bit quicker. Oh yeah, I have a lot to actually talk about. I was thinking I don't have a lot to talk about because I recorded, you know, 15 minutes of video last night and it got all messed up, but I actually do... Oh, Nordic Jewelry, hello. Oh yeah, so Reavers are, are the native bandits of Solstheim. As you can tell, they're not very powerful. Okay, so Nordic Ring of Eminent Stamina. Ooh, 50 points of health. That's actually pretty good. And magic. So what... I don't think we're going to use any of them because... Yeah, that does 30% more damage and that's... All of those combined. Okay, so this is just some notes about crafting the jewelry. Now we'll read it. Finding naturally occurring raw pieces of a suitable size and shape is unlikely. Perhaps there are some alter alternative methods I have not yet explored. I quickly discovered grinding with traditional methods is nearly impossible, but this material fascinates me. I'm determined to incorporate it into my work. Shattering large chunks with an application of violent force after repeated bouts of extreme heating and cooling. No, magical methods are most viable. Yields far more material to select from. In addition, the shards are more regular in shape than the debris left by a pickaxe. The amount of waste is disappointing, but the costs may be offset. Further shaping by using a second appro appropriately sized piece of stalerim yields particularly satisfactory results. The product is quite rough, but has sort of a naturalistic appeal. Set in Quicksilver with a traditional Nordic motif. Perfect. Perfection. With a bit of hired help, I have adequate materials to reproduce the design and distribute to the mainland. I will finally make a name for myself. Yes, you probably will. Hugin Ice Shaper. Oh, actually, you won't because you're dead. And he has everything in there to craft said Nordic jewelry. Let's hop back Who's on there? Arvac. Serana, stop fighting things. Just a nick sound. I think these are always also Creation Club, aren't they? Teach you. It was barking like a dog. Okay. So we're going to leave Serana in the dust here. So in the last video, before, you know, everything went to crap in my recording session, I was talking about how... What was I talking about? Oh, I was actually talking about me working out and weightlifting. Um, I hit a new PR the other day, which I know most people would be like, Huh? What? But personal record, deadlift, it's just, you know, bend over, pick up a bar with a lot of weight on it. But I did set my own personal record. I got 410 pounds, which is a lot of pounds, if you ask me. So, that was pretty cool. That was pretty exciting. What's this? Is there anything here that I actually need to, like, see? No? I don't know. That was a fishing spot. Arvac, no! Hey, Bristle Pigs. I remember just avoiding these things when we would do our soul slime at level one. Most of the game has been driven north by the Ashfall. Yeah, that would make sense, actually. Um, I am probably the most dangerous thing on this island now, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. There's just a random boat out there. I don't know. I'm right here, aren't I? Okay, let's see if this random boat has anything for us. I don't think we can get out to the actual boat, but can look at these. Um, I don't see anything important in them. And yeah, there's no way we could get on that boat. But yeah, what a throwback. Solstheim at level 1, it was like one of the OG Let's Plays on the channel. And it actually did pretty good. I had multiple episodes go over 2,000 views, so that was cool. But that was because I got a wicked thumbnail on one of them and a bunch of people clicked on it. Which was awesome. I was very appreciative of that. Okay, there's some reavers here. I guess we'll just fight everybody. Ooh, 
We might also change up our attack. Oh, that is not the shield. We might also change up our attack style. Depending on how I feel. Yeah, sorry. You're not going to get to wear my armor. I know, I know. So, so disappointing. Hop back on our back. How close are we? Oh, we're actually getting quite close. The Reiklings are throwing spears at a poor little fox. Oh, yeah, these are Reiklings. I'm sure most of you know that, but... They're goblins, but blue. That sums it up as well as I can. Oh, there's a chest that they tried to unlock with their spears. Let's just ignore the Horkers if we can. So, what I'm looking for is right there. I just heard somebody talking. Am I going crazy? Okay, mud crabs died. You're just crabs. Come on. Oh, maybe the note's in here. Oh, yeah, this is the unique one. Old Salty. Pretty sure he's a throwback to a, like, mud crab merchant in Morrowind. Sorry that you can hear. You can definitely hear my spamming of my A button on my controller, which probably is a little annoying. Oh, East Empire Company strong boxes. There's these things scattered all across the island, and they have one thing in particular inside of them that's very interesting and useful. So, let's have my skills show. Yep, there we go. What? And that thing is the East Empire Company pendant, which we can sell to a certain somebody in Raven Rock for, I think, 500 gold? Oh, Serana. Always fighting. Where did all the mud crabs come from? I killed them already. Boop. Oh, yeah. We worked so hard to kill those crabs. Okay, so the person I am seeking is supposed to be over on this island that's got horkers on it. But I don't see them. So I'm concerned that I have to start this quest somehow. That I haven't. Well, I obviously haven't. But I don't remember how to start it. Yeah, because there's nobody here. But if push comes to shove, I can actually just go look it up really, really quickly. Yeah, so there's nobody here right now. Okay. Okay, they're not going to count as enemies. Um, I'm going to go figure it out really, really quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry, you're not a vampire anymore. So I looked it up, and actually I have to go to the southwest of Skull Village, which is all the way over here to a camp. So I guess we're not going to do that, unfortunately. So I kind of just wasted like 20 minutes of time in this video. Which sucks, but, you know, I'm being honest with you guys. I'm not going to, like, oh, mission failed. Start the recording over again. For one, that's a lot of time. And two, that's not much fun. The only way off I, I don't know. I just like being honest with you. That's my modus operandi. So anyway, this is Want the guy. Anything, or just laugh at our okay. Stop See being a yourself. brat. I did keep on me when I cleared my inventory a couple amethysts and a diamond and an emerald, so I can sell all this stuff really, really quickly. I don't really know why I kept it, but I just did. Do you, like, happen to have a gold ingot for absolutely no reason? No. Okay. Um, what exactly do you sell out here? The question you should be asking is, what don't I sell here? Because I have pretty much any supplies you might need. If it's not a weapon, potion, or armor, then it's likely that I have it. Where did you get all of these items? Jarland, over at the docks, brings me most of my supplies. And the rest comes from bartering with the people in town. Oh, Glover Mallory gets me a few things once in a while. He usually has the most amazing deals that I can't pass up. Hmm, interesting. Are sales that bad out here? Bad? What if I told you that you're the first person that's even considered looking at my wares today? 
I've half a mind to contact my friends at the East Empire Company and see if they need an extra hand in Dude, help. not worth it. You have friends at the East Empire Company? Oh, absolutely. In fact, I've corresponded with Vittoria Vici herself more than once. You know, the lady who runs the East Empire Company warehouse in Solitude. The biggest warehouse they have in Skyrim. Oh, you would be well to know that I've worked with, you know, Jarl Ellis of the Fair. Okay. Bah, you're just like the rest of the folks around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark my words. The East Empire Company will return to Ravenrock. And when they do, I'll be at the top of their list. Okay, so I guess I have to ask this question. Do you sell any special mining gear? Mining gear? No. However, I used to sell East Empire pendants until I ran out of them popular little item what's an east empire company pendant it's an amulet that was made exclusively for the east empire company they gave them to their workers as an incentive at one point a kind of reward for extra effort they're no longer being made so they've become a collectible i'd love to get my hands on a few of them um i'll sell you some of mine then well well Seems you're proving fairly useful for an outlander. Thank Here's you. Here's your coin. Keep bringing me more, and I'll keep paying you for them. So yeah, you get 500 gold for that, which is pretty good. Um, do you know someone called Mirak? I think I maybe had a dream about someone with that name. Tell me about your dream. It was very strange. Was I building something? A shrine down on the beach near the Earth Stone? I'm not sure. The East Empire pendants are scattered all over, so leave no stone So, I know they're miserable. basically, like, under a spell, but they don't notice these people over here just working on this random thing, really. That's a little unbelievable, if you ask me, but, um, who cares what I think, right? Hmm. Not me. Here in his shrine. You there. You don't seem to be in quite the same state as the others here. Very interesting. May I ask what it is you're doing here? I'm looking for someone called Mirak. Mirak, Mirak. It sounds familiar, and yet I can't quite place... Oh, wait, I recall. But that makes very little sense. Mirak's been dead for thousands of years. What does that mean? I'm not sure, but it is fascinating, isn't it? Perhaps it has some relation to what's going on here. Quite unexpected. I'm afraid I can't give you any answers, but there are ruins of an ancient temple of Mirax toward the center of the island. If I were you, I'd look there. Okay. Um, what are these people doing? Building something, clearly. And yet they don't seem to have much to say about it. I'm very interested to find out what happens when they finish. Have you tried to stop this? Certainly not. Doing so would interfere with whatever is going on. And I would be unable to see how this all turns out. So you're one of those people. Okay. Near to us. So he pointed us... Our eyes once were blinded. Something just fell outside. I think it was ice off of my roof, but that was very loud, so... Probably did hear that. Okay. He pointed us in the direction of a temple of Mirak in the center of the island. But before we do that, we're going to go talk to the local blacksmith, Glover Mallory. And first, we're going to see if he has a gold ingot, you which he probably doesn't. Precious Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taken my pickaxe again. So, one thing I've always thought about Glover Mallory is his voice it sounds like there's some weird interference going on with his voice when they were like recording the lines but it's just me why all the fuss over a simple pickaxe no 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 this isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe i'm talking about an ancient nordic pickaxe they don't exactly grow on trees you know can't you just get the guard to find crushes um i prefer to handle these things on my own Look, if you see Crescious, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. Alright. Um, what do you have for sale? Looking to protect yourself, or deal some damage? Um, I'm looking for a gold ingot. Which, of course, you don't have, because who would have a gold ingot, right? 
You tell Crushes he better give that pickaxe back to me, or else. Okay, so I just so happen to know exactly where Crushes is, and this also tells me, even though Glover didn't tell me where he was, so I feel like we should have had to actually look around for him, but whatever. It's one of my issues with Skyrim, if I'm being 110% honest with you, which I like to think I am, as I've said multiple times in this video, I have very weird video. Woman, I said to leave me be. Precious, last time you explored the mine, you almost fell to your death. I'm not spending the rest of my days as a widow. And I'm telling you that I'll do whatever it takes to find my great-grandfather's remains. He's down here. I can feel it. That was almost two centuries ago. There may be nothing left to find. Just let me go, woman. Precious, you're an obstinate old fool, and you're going to get yourself killed. Who in the blazes are you? Can't you see I'm busy? Well, I am the Dragonborn. Apologies for Cretius's ravings. It's it's fine. Um, hello. Who in the blazes are you? Can't you see I'm busy? Busy doing what? You're just standing here arguing with your wife. Why should I tell you? I don't even know who you are. Um, I'm just exploring. Exploring, huh? Most folks think this place isn't worth the effort. I don't even know what this place but is. Not my words. These mines hold a secret that could put Raven Rock back on the map. What sort of a secret would be hidden here? A secret the East Empire Company swept under the rug two centuries ago. It killed my great grandfather and left Raven Rock with a worthless and tainted mine. Um, who was your great grandfather? Gratian Kyrelius. He spent his entire life exploring ancient ruins across Tamriel. He died in these very mines almost 200 years ago. How did he die? The East Empire Company called it a terrible accident, claiming that he was lost in a rockfall, but I know better. What's your proof? My wife and I were cleaning out our home, and we came across some of my great-grandfather's things locked in an old chest. I found an unsent letter he'd written to the East Empire Company. And a key. What did the letter say? It describes a discovery that was made in the mine by some of the diggers. They wanted Gratian to take a closer look. The East Empire Company must have felt it was of great value, as they locked that section of the mine off from everyone else. And the key is to the locked section? It is. Well, I assume it is. I haven't been able to find the entrance. I admit, this does sound suspicious. Finally! Someone who believes me! I'm telling you, there's something big down there. Something that the East Empire Company wanted to hide from everyone. And why are you telling me all of this? Look, my wife nags that I'm too old to go traipsing around these mines chasing my story. Time's my enemy. It's caught up with me before I could find the answers that I'm looking for. So, you do need my help. I do. I want to know what happened to Gratian, and what the East Empire Company is keeping from all of us. Any idea of where to start? Gratian kept a journal of notes about his discoveries. If you can find his remains, I'm hoping it will help. Here's everything I have. The letter, the key. Please, do this for me, so I can finally regain the respect that I've lost. Okay, and can I have a pickaxe? The damn fool doesn't even deserve to have it. The pickaxe was made for mining, not selling. I'll bet he stole it from the skull in the first place. It doesn't belong to you. Oh, very well. Here, tell him I hope he drops a thing on his foot. All right, and that is where we're going to wrap up the video because we just hit 30 minutes, and that's where I always end the videos. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I know it was kind of like jump right in the soul's time and then we traipsed around for 20 minutes wasting a bunch of time for something that i can accomplish but oh well right anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and as always i hope to see you in the next one goodbye